So let's look at a quadriceps stretch. A uh, quadriceps stretch is, it's, uh, the quadriceps basically are these large muscles that attach from the top of your hips all the way down the front of your thigh. And they attach actually below your knee. And they're basically responsible for this lifting motion, or this kicking motion. Um, they're huge supporting muscles. And I just trace them on top, but they actually come all the way to the side and wrap around. And they're continuous with a lot of other muscles that eventually connect up into your spine and into your hips. But uh, th these muscles, they're hugely worked. They're, they're worked out all the time. They're um, the main support muscles of your body. They uh, are active in any sport that you play. And they have the most impact on the position of your knees and your hips and your lower back. And uh, tightness in this area can cause knee pain, hip pain, and lower back pain. Surprisingly, it's uh, it's um, it's actually it's actually amazing uh, what a tight quadricep can do and how it can affect your day by day activity, how it can affect your sport performance or whatever it is that you need to be doing. So the idea is, you know, this is where the muscle is connecting. So we're going to try to stretch it the opposite way to lengthen it out. Right? We want to lengthen the muscle. We want to get rid of any adhesions or anything that's gripping the muscle, or we want to give the tendons a little bit more length and space, and that'll give the joints a little bit more room to breathe. So um, the easiest thing to do is starting starting this out is laying on your side, and I, I like to just lay on my arm, right, just so it's nice and comfortable. But I guess I guess you can get a pillow or you know use your forearm, and I'm going to bring the knees up into the chest. It's not really stretching quite a step yet. We're getting there, and. I'm going to grab on to the top of my instep. I'm just going to slide that leg back. Okay. Now, I'm just sliding the top leg back, but this bottom leg is still coming up towards the stomach. So when I'm sliding this leg back, I'm not sliding both legs. <laughs> right? I, want, I, I want this bottom leg to stay up towards my stomach right? or up towards my chest. Right? So I'm pulling that back. And just that, just that motion alone, right? it's creating a little bit of length on top of the quadricep. Now what's important here though is if you can watch the hips, you want to see that? Tucking the hip forward, tucking the hip forward. So I'm tucking the hip forward and pulling back and that stretches out the top of the leg. Now, you know, I can play with that a little bit. I can move the leg around because the, you know, it's a really large group of muscles. So by moving it around a little bit, I can find where, which muscle group or where it's tightest the most. And you can just hang out there. This might be really, really tight. It might feel really, really sore. But, um, you know, if, if you feel pretty comfortable that you can take this to the next step. And the next step is basically to, to lay backwards or lay on your back. So from here, all right, so you're going to stretch open the stomach. All right, stretch open the stomach. And now from then from here, you can roll all the way to your back. Now, when you're rolling to your back, right, the key is, is I want to get it so I can drop this knee down to the floor, right? And then this foot is also on the floor. Now, see, this is where a big challenge can come in because you might feel really tight. You might feel like the, the, the knee's up a little high. That's okay. And if, as long as it's not causing pain, you can do that. Um, you know, you might want to stick with the side stretch for a little bit if, if it's causing a lot of pain. But if you feel like it's, it's comfortable enough and you're not hurting yourself, you can lay on the back and drop that knee down. Now, one of the keys here, like we we're saying, see if you can get that knee down. And now, just visualize pulling this knee that way, right? And now I'm going to take my hands and reach up. See what I'm doing? I'm reaching up along the floor. And as I reach up, I'm going to pull that knee down so I'm effectively creating more space on top of the quad. Right? Lifting up, or I can grab my elbows, lift up, and then... I slowly drop my lower back to the floor. So I'll just change the angle a little bit so we can look at that. All right, I started out stretching out the quad, opened up my stomach, lay down, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna lift the arms up, right? Lift the chest up, and it, what that does is it creates space between my stomach and my hips, and that gives my leg a little bit more room to stretch down, right? I'm lifting up and stretching down with the, with the quadricep and then seeing if I can get the lower back towards the floor. There's a lot of space there. See if I can just bring that lower back towards the floor. And the more that you do that, right, the more lengthening that you 
feel on top of the quadricep, right? So you have knees together, pulling back, opening up the stomach, laying on the back, see if I can get the knee down, stretching up, getting the lower back to the floor, and if I want, I can even gently tug this other knee upward to see if I can get a little bit more of a stretch because that, that actually puts the hip, my pelvis, you know, tilts the pelvis in a slightly different position and that pulls, puts us a little bit more tug onto the, uh, onto the tendons of the quadricep. So just remember that when you're doing this stretch, like any other stretch, uh, you know, stretch, stretch to, your, to your limit. When, when it feels like it's just too far, back off a little bit. There's a, there's a comfort zone. Um, the comfort zone is, it's when you feel the stretch occurring and it, it actually feels a little nice, but it, it might be a little uncomfortable. Too much is when you're starting to feel a lot of pain or sharp pain or you're really shaking, you might need to back off a little bit. Or too, too little is when you absolutely don't feel any stretch at all. And um, this is a really great stretch. Sometimes people are really, really flexible and this stretch doesn't quite get to them, so you, you know, there, there are other variations that you can get into for sure. Um, and interestingly enough, sometimes people are like very, very flexible and no matter how much they stretch, they still feel like they're not stretching their leg. That usually, that often means that the, the leg itself or the muscle itself has some adhesions inside and that their flexibility is preventing them from stretching out the adhesions, in which case that's a good time to do some like uh, meditative, or not, uh, I should say therapeutic qigong to get the blood flowing or some massage, self-massage or having someone else uh, do the massage for it. But uh, generally speaking, that's uh, an overview of the quad stretch.